Speaking of talk, Governor Abbott did not cave to the pressure from the Biden administration. Isn't that amazing? Biden is silent. Here he puts a line in the sand saying, you know, you, you, can't, you, know, you can't stop us from going in and, you know, we're going to cut the razor wire and all this stuff. But he's all talk and no action. And Governor Abbott knew it. Listen, the, the, the president outlined uh, his two top priorities, which are the top priorities across the United States. Uh, one is to crack down on illegal immigration. And this is more than rhetoric on his part. He has a proven record uh, about what he did when he was president. Remember, when he was president, uh, he implemented four policies that led to the lowest illegal border crossings in 40 years. And Trump will do as he did before. He'll close the border and deport everyone we could find here in the United States. And let me tell you, that's going to be an uprising, right? I mean, a lot of people are going to be complaining about this on the left, especially. But the Biden administration is stuck on their own talking points. The immigration system is broken. The immigration system is broken, which is really nothing more than a lie in order to get more money so that they can implement more programs and hire more government people. Watch this next clip with me. Here it is. Most Americans say that they don't think you're doing a good job on the border, you and the administration. The number of people trying to cross the U.S. southern border is at an all-time high. It's no secret that we have a broken immigration system. A broken immigration system, she says. Amazing. Watch. Here she is again, one more time. This is, this is classic. There's no question. Our immigration system is broken. And it needs to be fixed. And as with any problem, then leaders will participate, true leaders, in the solution. So I'm going to take you back to about three years ago. And it was, I think, the day after our inauguration, when we came in. Joe Biden as president and me as vice president. The first bill that we offered was a bill to fix the immigration system. And that's when you controlled both houses. And Congress did not take it up. Did you catch that? And that's when you controlled both houses. In other words, Biden couldn't even get the, the, the border you know, program that he wanted through. He couldn't get a bill to pass on the border. Because everybody knows it, even the Democrats know that it's, it's a lie, it's phony, it's not real. The president is commanded to control and take care of the border. So as you can see, they're sticking to their narrative. And the majority of the fake news, just as you just seen right before our very eyes, they're not going to call her out on it. They will refuse to call them out on that. And instead, they're going to allow them to lie to the American people. And this lie will continue, and it, it, will, it will get bigger and louder in front of all Americans from now until election time, because really all they want is more money. They want more money for more border agents. But guess what they're not going to do? The border agents. They're not going to protect the border. <laughs> See, they want to hire more border agents so that they can help them process the illegals more quickly. They want up to 5,000 illegals to enter into our borders on a daily basis each and every day. Now, this next clip explains um, how support for Governor Abbott in Texas is growing in leaps and bounds all across the country. Here it is. More than half of the governors are now joined together uh, in support of a very important proposition, and, and that is uh, we are guaranteed by the United States Constitution the right of self-defense uh, if states face imminent harm or invasion. Texas obviously is facing both an imminent harm uh, as well as an invasion. Uh, and so these governors are rallying around Texas to support our ongoing right to self-defense uh, and, and the deployment of this razor wire that has led to uh, a, a massive reduction an inflow. Maria, get this. Uh, the area where we uh, have, have occupied this park in Eagle Pass, Texas, that we put up the razor wire, uh, there used to be 3,000 or 4,000 people crossing that area a day. Uh, for the past three days, we've averaged just three people crossing that area. From 3,000 people a day to just three. <laughs> the, oh, the border's broken. We need, we need immigration reform. Everybody knows it's a lie. Governor Abbott proved it proved it. 
The solidarity that the Republican governors are showing across the nation right now is frightening the left. They are running scared. They hate when we're in unity. Unity frightens the left. I don't know if you know that. Because when good people unite against evil, <laughs> evil runs scared. Biden is claiming that he needs legislation in order to protect the border. Biden says he needs Congress uh, to give him the power to do whatever he needs to do to secure the border. The fact is, as we all saw from what President Trump did, the president of the United States has the power. I must emphasize this. Uh, there is an obligation. There are laws uh, in the United States uh, that require the president to deny illegal entry of any illegal immigrant. And then if they do get into the United States, he has a legal obligation to detain those illegal immigrants. Joe Biden is failing at both of those duties. And that's exactly what gives Texas the authority uh, to make sure that we can step up and secure our own border and protect our own own state through self-defense. <laughs> I love this guy. Uh, Governor Abbott, boy, he's brave. I thank God for him. Uh, we all know Biden's lying. Um, he has the power to close the border. Governor Abbott, it just, Governor Abbott just did that and proved that it works. So what does Biden really want? Well, he wants more money, more power, and more control. And in order to get that, they're willing to do some of the most outrageous things that we can imagine in order to solidify their own base of crazies. Uh, and they want to go as far as giving illegals credit cards. Let me get your take on what's going on in New York. We understand now New York is going to be spending $53 million uh, to come up with prepaid credit cards for the illegal migrants. Uh, what do you think is behind this? Why do they need prepaid credit cards? Uh, it, it sounds like insanity is behind it because it, it really is, is offensive. It's, it may be the most reprehensible thing that I've seen take place over the past 48 hours when you, when you see police officers in New York City being beaten by illegal immigrants uh, in this country who should not be in the country in the first place. Uh, and then after they engage in this crime against a law enforcement, uh, law enforcement officer, they are let loose back out onto the streets. What's going on in New York is outrageous and Americans across the entire country are angry, not just about what's going on in New York, but the underlying cause for it, which is Joe Biden's open border policy. Insanity is the word. <laughs> he used it. Giving money to those who come to this country illegally and then break the laws. I, I mean, beating up a police officer in New York City. Uh, oh, hey, oh, listen, uh, you know, we're sorry. Gee, you had to go through that, you know. So here, let's just give you a credit card. And uh, here, go enjoy yourself. Have a good day. <laughs> no bail, no nothing. We just let them go. Um, we're giving them the ability to trample more on the United States and then we feel bad for them for their inconvenience, so we want to give them some more money.